Hey guys, welcome back to the MOB The Show 24 Red Sox franchise mode. I'm back in town in Vancouver after spending the last two days in Seattle. And honestly, uh, I had a pretty good experience. I had a pretty good time, to be honest. I was wearing the Red Sox jersey number 18. I think it was, I bought it back in 2014, I believe. So I went to Boston and also New York that summer. I bought a shirt. It was, I think it was Victorino was still playing, and then he was traded like a few months after. I should have gone for um, Pejoria, number 15, or maybe uh, maybe Johnny Gomes. And honestly, to be honest, Johnny Gomes was my one of my favorite players back in uh, like the 2013, that era. But yeah, I have a pretty good time, to be honest. Uh, me and my girlfriend went there. We went for the second game of the season, which we lost 1-0. It should have been better, or I feel like we we would have been better. But honestly, it was very well contested in general because we have Nick Pavetta on the mound who pitched a massive, massive game. And also, I think it was... Uh, what is going on here? Oh, yep. It, it happens, honestly. Uh, the reason why you guys might keep seeing that I, I can't connect to the internet. Um, long story short, I've been using this, you know, Elgato gameplay or Elgato... You know, recording, um, recording capture card or something like that. I don't think it worked properly in terms of connecting to the Wi-Fi. But if I disconnect that, or just going from my, you know, HDMI from my monitor to my PS5, then you know everything works fine. But as long as I have this gaming capture card with me and I use it, it's not gonna, it's not gonna work. So yeah, I have a pretty good experience. If I'm being, if I'm being honest. Um, Nothing nothing happened. If you guys watched the game, it was 1-0. It was back and forth, back and forth. Who was pitching the other day? Not Logan Gilbert. It was um, it was George Kirby. Yeah, George Kirby was amazing that game. Uh, I was hoping to see Ra- uh, Raphael Devers playing that game, but he was scratched from the lineup with the shoulder tightness or something like that. But today, as I'm recording, today it's uh, March 31st. He, he came back, and today we actually won. So I feel like uh, whenever I'm not watching them live, they just win. So just keep it that way. Maybe I'm not traveling down to Seattle for a while to watch the Red Sox. Again, it's a once a year, that type of thing. And here is the lineup. I think I've learned more about the lineup now. I think it looks like, uh, well, these players, for example, uh, they don't play every day. Uh, put it that way. Uh, they usually take you know a, a few games off or something like that or a, a game off. You barely see any player who play a whole 162 games a season. You don't see that very often. But I think based on what I'm seeing, the rest Sox love to rotate their players, you know, once every two games or something like that. So I'm going to do the same thing if I'm being honest. So this is, I think, right here. Um, Got to change the lineup a little bit. But bam, this is lineup Duran, Devers, Story, Casas, Yoshida, O'Neill, Abreu, Reyes, and Maguire. And I realize in real life, so O'Neill broke the record. He is the only player in the entire history where he hit five home runs in five consecutive opening day. And I was able to witness that on TV, but in life, um, uh, to be honest, by the way, I was wearing a Red Sox shirt the entire time, right? And I thought, you know what, I'm going to get a few stakes here and there because I'm simply a Red Sox fan. But I realized people are really, really nice, especially when you when you met a fellow, uh, you know, uh, you know, Red Sox fan. You know, they're very nice to you. And I realized that as well. Um, we certainly got a lot of food there, but turns out it was really, really expensive. I think I spent like 120 USD on it. Shouldn't have spent that much, to be honest. I have a smoked dog or I have a smoked dog chicken strips and, um, a, a pizza. And I have a what, lemonade vodka. Be sure to let me know if you guys actually watched the game, uh, in live. We might have probably crossed path that day. But there you go. Logan Gilbert against Duran. I didn't watch that game yesterday, even though I was in... Toronto is at the uh, Cheesecake Factory having having dinner. I think the score was 1-1. On my way home, and by the time I check on the app, then boom, they lost, what, 4-3 in extra time. I think Joe Raleigh. Rodriguez is not having uh, the time of his life in the bullpen, but today, uh, you know, he did his job, I believe so. But fly ball to right field. Let's try to, you know what, let's try to, you know, let's try to play this game. <laughs> Third game of the season here. 
Oh, beautiful. There you go. Oh, I've been waiting for this moment for so long. My last save is gone. It's destroyed. Devers got five home runs in that save, which is the most I've ever done in my entire life playing Red Sox franchise mode. And finally, Devers, uh, the third game, he hit a no-doubt home run. It was a fastball right down the middle to right field. Damn, what a freaking play. And honestly, I just, you know, I just wish he played, you know, two days ago. It would have been a complete different outcome. But again, I think this is a record-breaking series for the Red Sox. I believe they have K'd more than 40 Mariners um, in the first series of the season. Oh, there you go. Line drive to right field. And Trevor Story is going to stop there. You know what? It's a good decision or else he would have been thrown out at home. Yoshida with another base at 100 miles per hour exit velo and here comes Tyler O'Neill who has batted back-to-back -back home runs so far in this series let's keep that going and he got oh no well it's fine it's gonna be one run isn't it and yes we can turn well they can't turn two another one has scored and here is Cutter Crawford to be honest the game yesterday or the game that he pitched, I thought he was really, really impressive. And to be honest, I think for the past few seasons, since 2020 or since 2021, I thought he had a lot of uh, ups and down. But you know, I feel like this year, it could be his breakout season. And honestly, I'm very impressed with the Red Sox pitching in this series, to be honest. Um, I was, I think last year, I literally had no... Um, I have no confidence in terms of their pitching in general. But to be honest, this year has been totally different. Let's talk about Isaiah Campbell. I don't know much about that player, but since he came on, since he played for the last, what, you know, two, three appearances, he has been amazing. Visert, uh, num the number 57, has a filthy slider. Uh, who else? Uh, Winkowski, as great as usual. And Slayton today, I believe he made his second debut or second game of the series. And he collected his first strikeout by striking out the last batter today. Fly ball, line drive to right field. Abreu is under it. A 1-2-3 inning for Cutter. Duran. Ground ball. Oh, it was off the back. How did Jorge Polanco spell that? I'm not sure. An E4 on Polanco. And here comes Devers. Might be a big, big mistake there. But let's see. Oh my god. Devers looked at that one for the third K. Or third strike. And still Mariners are hitless within that one inning. To be honest. What are we even talking about? 2-2 two, two count. Come on. Get the first K. And Polanco strikes out. Looking with a very filthy... Curve ball for the second out. And here comes Ty France. First ball. First ball. First strike looking. 0-1. Oh, Fastball outside. Paint that corner. It was just a little bit outside. Let's go for a cutter. Outside. And he almost painted that corner, but it was fouled away from Ty France. Let's go for a slider outside, shall we? And ground ball, Cassis decided to go for second base. I don't know why I did that, but you know what? Uh, very good pitching performance so far. 0-2 oh, count to Cassis. A line drive to right field. It is going to be dropped. Can he run to second base? Definitely not based on his speed. It would have been a double if it was another batter. But you know what? I'm not going to complain about that. 1-2 count to O'Neal. And, oh my god, he swung at that one. Damn, that was such a horrible, horrible pitch to swing at. 1-2 count to Urias. Slider outside, didn't tempt him. 2-2 two, two count. Let's try to run a fastball inside. Top corner, nope. Just a little bit outside, or inside. Full count, 3-2. Let's go for a changeup this time. And he swung at that one. A good, good change up for the second K. 0-2 count to Josh Rojas. 
Let's run another change up at the bottom of the zone. And he swung it out one. A soft ground ball to Reyes. A 1-2-3 inning for Cutter. 1-0 count to Pablo Reyes. Taps this one in front of the mound. Can he beat the throw? No, he can't. But meanwhile, uh, Abreu advanced to second base with one out against the left-handed batter, Reese McGuire. Oh, we'll count to him. First pitch. Oh, ground ball to the second baseman. Second out right now with the man on third base. Oh, that was a good pitch. 2-0 count. He had me. Oh, my God. That was a close play at first as well. But through three innings or four innings, we are leading 3-0. Back-to-back strike to start off this inning against J.P. Crawford. And a changeup fouled that one off. 0-2 count. Here comes another pitch. Fastball not quite inside. Oh, he pulls that one. This swing right there, or that ball right there, reminds me of J.P. Crawford with the solo home run, which is the decider of the second game of the series, which I, pro I, I think I missed watching that. I think I, w I took my eyes off a little bit, and boom, when I turned my head around, boom, the ball was gone. 1-0. I was sitting at the third deck, actually. But, come on. Cutter Crawford against... JP Crawford. Certainly they're not related. Uh it is going to be a line drive down the line. A base hit surely has to be a double. Abreu put the ball back into infield. One two count. Fastball inside. Jammed him. It is going to be a foul ball. Holy crap. That was really, really close. Gotta get a killer pitch. Change up. Oh, another soft line drive down the line as well. Damn, you just can't get this guy out. This guy shows why he is a two-time All-Star, but not that one. Fastball inside corner for the third K or third strikeout for uh, Cutter Crawford. A very, very good batting or very good uh, pitching there. Slider, bottom corner, did not tempt him. 2-2 two -two count to Carl uh, Rayleigh. I've been calling him Riley for some reason. And he swung at that one. Fourth K for Cutter Crawford. After giving up a double to J.P. Crawford. And he puts out another back-to-back case. Back-to-back case, yep. And then here, this is Luke Raleigh as well. Or Rayleigh. I can't really tell the difference at the moment. But our job right now is to get out of this inning unscathed. Ground ball. Story. No, definitely not. It infield single this time. 0-2 count. Inside. Oh, line drive to left field. O'Neal's right there to make the catch. We got out of jam there. Oh, he had me again. Splitter at the bottom of the zone for the first out. After giving a walk for Devers right now. Here comes Tristan Cassis batting 300 at the moment. And... Okay. All right, game. All right. Just like that. Two outs. Oh, my God. It is going to be a flare down the line. Devers reached third. He is way too slow. Wait, what? He saved? No way, game. No way. That is the first double for Yoshida, and that is it for Logan Gilbert, who's not having a good game today, unfortunately, of course. Yesterday... Uh, I think he pitched a very good game. Here comes Levi Stout or Stute. I don't know how you pronounce his name. He's gonna come on right here against Tyler O'Neill. First pitch and pop up to left field. Damn it! Fastball up as well. Two men left on bases. Two-two count to Ty Franz. Let's get him a slider outside this time. Swung that early. That was a good pitch. 5K, is it? 5K for Cutter Crawford. Come on, 1-2 count. To Urias. Fastball inside. Swung it at one. He knew it. What a pitch. Painted that one perfectly at that corner. Another 1-2-3 inning for him. Ground ball. Oh, ball bought it by the third baseman. It is going to be forced out regardless. It would have been a double play. 
But Urias has made an error. Has uh, I mean, it's not an error, right? But it feels like it's an error. They could have easily gotten two outs there with Reese McGuire at the plate. And it is going to be a line drive this time. Down the line for a base hit. And this time, uh, it was a Pablo Reyes. Goes all the way to third base. We might potentially put ourselves in a very favorable position here with Duran on the play. We just need to get one run. That's it. Change up, line drive to right field, not a very hard hit ball. But regardless, we have scored another run 4 nothing to the Red Sox. 3-0 count, oh, Devers, damn. Oh my god, I forgot to tack up. I was waiting for that pitch, that perfect pitch. Whether it's a splitter down the middle or fastball down the middle, I know he's going to get that strike. He needed that strike. But it was a line drive straight at the right fielder. Oh my god, the Ixafilo, 105 miles per hour. Right now with Trevor Story on the mount or at the plate, he has a runner. He has a batting average of runner in scoring position of 500. Can he get a run here? Oh, ground ball. Hard hit ball, but straight at the second baseman. But regardless, we got one run. 2-2 count. Let's run a very ugly curveball at the bottom of the zone, but he did not get tempted at all. Let's try for a fastball this time up. And, ooh, that is very close. That is very close. It could have gone both ways, but it's a benefit for J.B. Crawford, which he's still at the plate right now. And uh, Cutter Crawford is getting tired. This might be the last inning if I'm being totally honest. He's pitching a jam. Cutter, this time, 7th K for him. I remember. I think it was, a, it was a, cu a, a couple of the show before. I was using Cutter Crawford for like maybe, you know, 2-3 games. Couldn't get a K at all. But this time in this game, his stuff is nasty. Oh, ground ball. Devers. Oh my god, didn't know Rodriguez had that much speed on him. But another 1 2 3 inning for Cutter Crawford. That is it for him of the night. Oh my god, that was a hanging slider. Couldn't get any of that. Instead, it is a pop up. Well, I totally forgot about this, but I did not warm up anybody in the bullpen. <laughs> so Brandon Bernardino will be. Uh, a sacrificial lamp to me just in case if he get injured or whatsoever without warming up But there you go uh, bottom of the seventh right now all he needs to do is to produce a one two three inning all right. Oh two count To rally Ooh, Kurt bought outside. It wasn't a good pitch Let's go for a fastball inside certain. Oh get popped up Duran get there get there There's a reason why you're playing center field and it is going to be uh, out, which is good. Two more. We just need two more here. Um, I think after uh, the first batter who hit a double to start off this inning. Oh, it was ground ball to Devers. And what a play. What a play. He got to make sure he got to release the ball as soon as possible. But right now against Ty France, I mean, Justin Slayton, it's ready in the bullpen. Actually, I need to get Chase Anderson ready. I'm not sure if he is actually part of the 26-man uh, roster. It doesn't matter right now. Slayton's going to get the ball here for the second appearance of the season. All he needs to do is get Ty France out here if he can. 0-1. Oh, beautiful, beautiful slider. Fastball. Oh, pretty much right down the middle. It is going to be a double. RBI double this time, 4-1 to the Mariners. I'm not particularly too worried about that. If that's the case, I think I might have to ask uh, Chris Martin or Kenny Jansen to come on later on. Ground ball to Reyes. There you go. And out. That's all we need. It doesn't matter if we concede at a point or not as long as we get out of the inning. New pitcher, Gabe Spire, coming on here. This is, wow, this is why Seattle Mariners was really good last season. With an ERA 3.79 and against a left-handed batter or left-handed pitcher, it's uh, it's a very good thing to do. If I do make a substitution, got to make sure people get on base. By the way, Rafaela, I watched him play. What a kid. He has been a breath of fresh air in the squad. 
One one count to Wong. Fly ball popped up to right field, and it is going to be caught right there. Good running catch by Mitch Hanniger. And we go into the bottom of the eighth inning, and Chase Anderson's going to have a seat here unless we score another run at the top of the ninth. We're going to get Kenley Jensen getting ready up. Chris Martin getting the ball here uh, with the strike rate 66.7%. Doesn't tell you much. I would rather them showing uh, how many Ks we have here. But second appearance for him right now. 3-2 count. I just realized there's a pitch clock going on. <laughs> oh, no. How is that? You got to be kidding me. You know what? 50-50 bang, bang call. And go eat away right now with the runner at first base. 0-1 count to Rodriguez, who has yet to collect a base hit. And just like that, with a broken back, uh, a soft liner to second base for 1-2-3. Well, not quite a 1-2-3 inning, but we are moving to the top of the ninth here. Oh, my God. Fastball inside. Gabe Spire won that battle. Trevor Story went down on strike for the third time today. And right now, Tristan Cassis is at the plate. No matter how much. Is this Bobby Dahlbeck first appearance of the season? I think so. Is it? It is. Come on, Bobby. This is your moment against your hometown. Oh, no. I thought he had it. Fly ball to right field. Mitch Hanniger's right under it. And we're moving on to the bottom of the ninth here. Bobby Dahlbeck should have got something out of that. It was a hanging slider. At the top of the zone, regardless. Right now, we're getting a call at the bullpen. Canley Jensen coming on. He had one save already. Let's try to add on another save here to take game three uh, of this series. Again, um, I think it's still quite easy in a way, like pitching wise, right? I mean, we have been scoring a lot of runs, not as many as my uh, first save. Story, good play first out but like I said I've been scoring a lot of runs and pitching wise we have been phenomenal I barely pitched a game where you know which I allowed more than five runs in one game oh two count to Luke really slider inside the sign oh that little brick right there was beautiful it was an art one two outside didn't chase it two two Let's go for a cutter inside again. Fouls it off 2-2. Two, two. I do not want to spend more than 10 pitches on one player. And it is going to be a ground ball base hip up the middle. 1-0 -oh count. Ooh, that was, that was a good paint job. 1-1. One, one. Cutter outside. Check swing. He was thinking about it, but no. 1-2. Slider. Inside didn't tempt it at all. You know what? That slide is really good, but against lefty, you just know that the tempted rate of that it's not as high when you throw against a, a right-handed batter. Fly ball to right field. Thank God. Ooh, Rafaela's gonna back paddle it. It's a little bit too far away, but there you go. Second out. Just need one more. Kenley Jansen, come on. I know in real life he's struggling with injuries. That's why he didn't pitch yesterday, I believe so. And there you go. Just like that. 0-2. We just need one more strike. That's it. Slider. Outside. Wow. Good eye by Ty France. Two seamer in inside. How about that? Ooh, that was... I released that a little bit way too early. 2-2. Two -two. Another slider. Oh my god. This game is giving me a headache at times. Come on. Cutter outside. Corner. Oh, Duran's going to be right under it. And there you go. Three wins in a row to start off this season. The perfect season so far for us. But what a game. What a game. Rafael Devers with a two-run home run in the first inning to kind of set the tone of the entire game. And later on, we, we scrap a few runs here and there. Ten hits for us and six hits for the Mariners. But Cutter Crawford collecting his first 
win of the season. He certainly had himself a qu- quite of a day. Um, I don't think he he I don't think he allowed a single run, but seven Ks for him. I wasn't expecting that at all from him. But second save for Kenley Jansen, and tomorrow we'll find out whether we can sweep the Seattle Mariners for the fourth game of the season. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in a bit.